What if the Endermen are actually past old versions of you, the player? What if Bastions weren't actually built by piglins, but as a way to enslave them? Today, I will find the truth and solve Minecraft's greatest mysteries. Up first, do wardens actually come from axolotls? And if so, why? The warden is a prisoner for deep dark, and an axolotl is just an adorable little creature. So how could this ever be true unless... Wait, why isn't the warden attacking the axolotl? This might not seem strange initially until you realize that I'm pretty certain any other mob the warden will beat to death. I mean, he doesn't seem to be at the moment. Unless, no, he's definitely mad. Look at him, he's going straight for the ship. Instantly dead. The axolotl was just chilling there. He, he didn't care. I'll spawn more axolotls in and he doesn't care. He goes straight for the spider. Why doesn't the warden attack the axolotl? Unless there actually is some sort of historic connection between the warden and the axolotl. Or is this just a random glitch left in the game by Mojang? I need more evidence. So I began searching for every and any similarities that might exist between these two creatures. And that led me to here, the official Minecraft launcher. We're looking for a small feature at the bottom left called what's new, where Mojang has put every single change ever added to Minecraft. And I'm looking through here because apparently reports claim there is a terrifying message about the axolotl hidden on the same day that the warden was added to Minecraft, the 25th of March, 2021. MSA sign in, fixed an issue, fixed an issue. Two games, one launches, thus never shown in. What is this? Th there was nothing about the axolotl in any of this. And then there's just this random gibbity glop. Unless, no, I've seen this before. Guys, do you recognize this? It's the same language Minecraft uses for the enchantment table and the end crystals. Oh, but I can't translate that. But I know someone who can. I have a friend who works at Mojang, and I'm pretty sure they have a tool there that allows them just to translate anything in this language into English. Okay, I'm gonna send him a message, but what kind of secret message is hidden in that line? Maybe it tells us about how the axolotls created the warden or how they're related? But as we wait for a reply, is there a dark secret hiding within the nether bastion? To understand this strange structure, we first need to understand more about the mobs that live here, the piglins. You see, there are lots of mobs in the nether and they all share one thing in common. The magma cube doesn't burn in lava. The wither skeleton doesn't burn in lava. And the strider, it's totally fine. And yet the piglin, even though it lives in the lava, burns to death. In fact, they are the only mobs found in the nether that take fire damage. I mean, technically there are skeletons and endermen, but those actually came from the overworld first. Wait a minute, maybe piglins are the same. Maybe they were never from the nether in the first place, but then who are these piglins and where did they come from? Wait, I just realized something. There's two types of them. There's also the piglin brute. So they have different jobs in the nether. You know the only other mob that has different jobs? Villagers. And you can trade with villagers and you can trade with piglins. So could piglins be made from villagers? Uh, but I don't know about that, Chief, because the villager doesn't look anything like the piglins. So if they didn't come from villagers, where did they come from? Reddit might have the answer because this user supports our suspicions that piglins have never been in the nether. They never came from there at all, but they take it a step further and say they don't even own the Bastion Remnant. Apparently it was originally built by what he calls ancient builders. But believe it or not, this person's not the only one. It's actually a popular theory that the ancient builders were early versions of Steve and Alex that lived in Minecraft and built many of the structures we know today. These things are huge. Why bother building them? And what were the ancient builders even doing in the nether? I mean, these things are all built out of nether blocks, so it doesn't really make that much sense unless, wait, the chests. These are all nether blocks as well. Bone, obsidian, gold, and 
arrows. They need feathers. You can only get those in the overworld, but oh no, skeletons are in the nether, so you could get it from skeletons. String and banner patterns, which require paper. Both of these you can only find in the overworld. But then again, maybe the piglins just raided someone and stole this loot. I need more proof. Lanterns, this is the proof. You craft these using iron, and iron's only found in the overworld where the ancient builders literally lived, and the only other structures with lanterns are the trail ruins. And the trail ruins are literally old archaeological sites built by the ancient ruins. That's confirmed by Mojang. So is this the same? Wait, I just realized something. If we use the command slash locate structure and put in the bastion, you notice it's not just called a bastion, it's called a bastion remnant. The word remnant means destroyed structure, which I mean, these things are pretty ruined. They've got holes all over them, but if the piglins lived here, why wouldn't they fix it unless they never built it in the first place? But if the piglins aren't from the nether, then where are they from? Because in the overworld, they jitter and shake like this. And then after 25 seconds, they turn to a zombified piglin. There you have it. So what, can it not survive in the overworld unless... I just figured it out. Hold up, hold up. If we change the weather to the thunder, grab ourselves a trident and enchant this with a channeling book. And then what? We need to put a mob next to the pig. And if we strike this guy with lightning, did that work? No. Hold up. If we get the lightning, there it is. If you get lightning close enough to a pig, it turns into a zombified piglin. Hold up, ready? Watch this, watch this, ready? Bang, that pig just transformed. So then all of these creatures that are in the nether, they're corrupted versions of overworld pigs. So does that mean the ancient builders created the piglins out of ordinary pigs and brought them to the nether? But why? I needed to learn more about bastions. So I went to the official Minecraft wiki where I knew there were a couple of different types of bastions, but apparently there are literally hundreds of combinations. Why would the ancient builders build so many different types? Just like build the same thing like the desert temple right? I mean, look, here's just bridges. There's just so many different types. I mean, I guess this makes sense because the nether is a dangerous place where the ancient builders needed ways to get around. But then they also had these things called housing units. Why would the ancient builders make houses for themselves in the nether? Why risk living in such a dangerous place? Unless these houses weren't for them, but for the piglins. And that's why they've been left to be in disrepair. Hold up. I saw before Hoglin stables. And with Hoglin stables, they basically created a source of food in the nether because they drop pork chop. It's like the perfect city for piglins to live inside of. Is that it? So we've got housing units, Hoglin stables, bridges. What else? Treasure room. Guys, what do these look like? Hold up. There's no way. There's no way. It all makes sense. I figured it out. Piglins are literally obsessive hoarders when it comes to gold. In fact, they trade with it. They even wear golden armor and their kids will go around stealing gold from players. But why? What if the ancient builders created these piglins and forced them to mine gold for them? I mean, it would make sense. The nether's filled with gold, it's extremely dangerous, and the ancient builders didn't want to risk dying, which means either I am crazy, or these piglins living inside of these remnants? These remnants aren't just cities, no. This is a giant prison for piglin slaves. And if you thought that was strange, you won't believe where Enderman actually come from. This theory is out there. I mean, Endermen have nothing in common with us. They are a lot taller and they have teleportation powers. And wait, something I forgot is they can also move blocks. In fact, they're the only entity besides Steve and Alex that can do that. Maybe there is more to this theory. Hold up. Guys, am I tripping? Or did that Enderman just talk to me? That sound he made. Rewind the video. It sounded like a word. Actually, I've seen this before. He's gone. I think I saw a video from MatPat where they had a similar theory claiming that the Enderman can talk, but then what are the Enderman saying? I need a way to somehow listen back to what he said in like slow motion. I went back through this entire video to clip out the two times the Enderman made a sound. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, I can, I feel like I can hear something there. Maybe the other one is easier. It just moves too quick. It's too distorted. So if we take our tracks here and we put them into a mix down, which is basically like a multi-track and we'll zoom into the sound wave here. We should be able to grab the time tool and just extend it out. 200% slower, is that good? You know what, we'll go even further. 250% slower. Let's have a listen, see if we can hear anything. No way. 
rewind the video. It literally said hello. Wait, editor, put up subtitles again so you guys can see it. Watch. Hello. There's no way that's real. There's... He's saying hello? I mean, no, no, Enderman can't talk. This has to be a coincidence, right? To figure out if this sound is just a coincidence, I googled the commands for every sound possible in Minecraft that an Enderman can make. So if we use the command slash play sound, and then it's called custom idle one, and we'll put that in the ambient track for all players to hear in this location at 100 volume, one pitch. Let's listen. Hey, he said, hey, he said, hey. All we need to do to go through the different Enderman sounds is we'll change it to two. That was the one that we heard when we were looking in our audio software. It says, hello. Okay, and then the third one. What's up? It's true. It's true. The Endermen are talking back to us. But how? Because only humans can talk unless they are actually corrupted versions of us. Wait, we got to try it. I think there's another sound here. Let's try the fourth sound. See what it says. Look for the eye. But why would the Endermen tell us to look for the eye? What eye is it talking? about the eye of Ender. I've got it, I've got it. Endermen, there's some of them in the overworld, but most of them are in the end. What if that's where they were originally corrupted and they want us to free them? That's why they ask us to look for the eye to take us to the stronghold. I mean, it makes sense, but I'm still not fully convinced. I need undeniable proof, but I've already read everything about the Endermen online, unless not everything is online. This is the Mobistiary. And I am certain it has all the answers that we're looking for. Why do I trust it? Because you see up there, Mojang. It has an official seal of approval from Mojang themselves. So it's not just made by some other, you know, random company out there. This is Mojang's Bible for everything mob related. And we've used it to solve mysteries on the channel before, which is why I trust it. I've never actually read about Enderman before. So let's see, Creeper, no, here we are. Earlier before, I was looking through all of this information, and to be honest, it was mostly the same as what I found on the internet, except this photo. I've never seen this before. Take a closer look. Right there. A brain. There is a brain in the end of it. Now, if you don't realize how insane that is, maybe you should take a look at every other mob inside of this book. Zombie, no brain. Gas, look at the inside, no brain. There is, in fact, no other hostile mob that I could find in this entire book. Look, even the skeleton, no brain. Mojang took the specific decision to show that there is not a brain in any other hostile mob except for the Enderman and, well, one other mob, which I'm sure you guys know. Us. Humans. But if Endermen are the same as us, then why do they get angry when we look at them? Are they jealous because we weren't also trapped in the end? Or is there a darker secret? Am I missing something else in another one of these pages? And wait, what, what's that? Did y'all hear that? Guys, my, my doorbell just went off at this time of day. Wait. Guys, have a look at this. It's like almost seven o'clock, bro. Who is ringing my doorbell? Unless it has something to do with this. Maybe they know I'm filming the video. Can they hear me outside? I, I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out and that's to check the door, right? Oh, guys, I don't have a good feeling about this. We'll turn on the lights. Let's head down. I definitely wasn't expecting anyone, I don't think. I don't understand. There's no one out here. Wait, is that a letter? It's addressed to me, what? Strange, I don't really get mail ever. Let's see, what do we what do we got inside? Mojang? Did they find out about what I'm doing here? Hi Jordan. No, 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 this is bad. I hope this letter finds you well. I've received your text, but I couldn't risk replying online. Wait, this is my text to my friend. Why didn't he just text me back? Due to safety concerns, as this information is sensitive and I'm not legally allowed to share it. This message translates to the axolotls are not what they seem. I advise you to be careful while investigating this. There was a deeper reason why Mojang doesn't want to publicly reveal this. To understand what this means, invert the image attached to this letter. The image is a concept art released by Mojang before the Warden was added to Minecraft. Sincerely, James. Wait, he said concept art attached to this letter? What do you mean attached? Is there something else in here that I missed? It's another thing. What? What is it? What? This is official Mojang concept art, Axolotl and the Warden. Why would they even put the Axolotl and Warden together in concept art in the first place? They have nothing to do with each other. Even more concerning, why was this so secretive that James literally had to send me a letter and he wasn't able to just text it to me? I really hope James is okay, but whatever's happening to him, we owe it to him 
to get to the bottom of this mystery. So I scanned the image into my computer so we could go ahead and edit it. He said we had to invert it. I opened it up in Photoshop. I think we come to layer and then new adjustment layer, invert. That's, that's exactly what he asked for, right? Okay, and activate it. What is that supposed to show us? I mean, the, the water looks pink and the axolotl looks dark bluey green. I turn it off. The axolotls are pink. The wardens are this green color, light green. And then when we turn it on, they swap colors. What is that supposed to mean? This can't be a coincidence. Mojang added this on purpose. I mean, why are axolotls in this concept art anyways? Is it to hide that axolotls are secretly something greater than just cute animals? Maybe the ancient city portal isn't actually the face of a warden, but the face of an axolotl. What is Mojang hiding from us? Do you know? Thank you to all of these guys for making today's video possible. You're my new favorite EY Mega fans. If you want a shout out, just click the join button below this video. Scroll down and click EY Mega Fan.